Hello, hello everyone. This is Atrocity. Today I've got something very special for you guys. Today I bring you a kind of smartish shifting floor design. Now, how this works is if a tripwire activates, it will shift the floor only on the row that the mob is on. And if it's on two um, rows at the same time, both of them will activate at the same time, so to prevent any bugs. Um, this was originally for my witch farm design, but I've actually found a way to kind of improve it, made some modifications to it, because you can do all sorts of things to modify it with it, and have actually found a way to probably make this maybe into a, another type of farm, maybe as pigmen farm or overworld farm or whatever. But, oh. Anyways, I'll just show you guys how this all works. So, maybe we can just spawn a witch, if I wasn't on peaceful, normal's good. So you can see right there, it shifts through the floor. Now, if I set it to night time, we can see it all in action. I just got slabs there to prevent any spiders from spawning. You can see right there. Sometimes the mobs will stand between two blocks, and that is going to cause some issues when they start, they, the pistons move the floor they won't fall through um, this does work pretty good um, redstone is a little big though you can see right there and it there is a small chance I think that maybe the pistons glitch out or something now this does does kind of run on a clock you can see right there now this clock is only activated when there is any mob in the spawning pad. So if there's nothing, you can see that nothing's moving. But you see right there, clock is activated when any mob is in there and activates the tripwire. So yeah, um, this is mainly for witches, but it also works with any other mob, pretty much. You can see right there. That's pretty cool. Now, some other things about this is that um, I think the the uh, spawning spaces here, more to the left and right, near the pistons, are probably going to have a less lesser chance to allow them to spawn because there are blocks over here and stuff like that. But I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% sure about how the spawning algorithm works exactly but yeah so works nicely now I'll show you guys a few improvements I have made to this to make it a another mob trap before I show you guys that though I probably should t t show you guys the wiring behind it so there are two layers for this um, this was just for the design of the witch farm so I changed the wiring for the top layer and the bottom layer now this one here, tripwire activates this redstone torch, which indeed pulls this piston. Now that will, if any of those torches are turned off, one of these redstone torches right here will turn on, and that activates the clock right here. Simple clock, you can see right there. Now that clock goes underneath into a um, pulse shortener that goes into each repeater here, and if it will go into the selected tripwire if one's on. So, for instance, if this one was on, this would turn off, and the signal will be able to pass through only this piston into here. Now, over here, the clock also sends a signal to the other side, going into your pulse limiter, and going into whatever tripwire is activated. Okay, so right here, what I've done is I've lazily MC edited the top layer into being flipped the other way. And with this, you are able to stack this on top of each other to make a expandable uh, mob farm, however lot high you want it. Um, in here, though, I've made it a few blocks higher so we can see what's going on in here. I don't think this is really necessary. You could probably bring this down here, down a few more blocks. 
so that it's only two blocks tall. But you can see I've got the slabs here, and now to prevent um, any spiders spawning and to prevent them from jumping onto the slabs and not falling through the floors, I've got some blocks to prevent them from going up the top. And on the next layer up top, I've got more blocks to prevent them from going there. So yeah, that's how you can stack it on top of each other by alternating from the redstone being on this side here to this side here. These two sides to these two sides. Now, I've written here a few things you can do with it, so you can stack the platforms. Now, the platforms here, you can extend them um, extend them left and right, so they have a total of 11 spawning spaces here, because pistons can push a total of 12 blocks. So you can have 11 spaces, because one is always under the slab. That's to prevent um, holes, because I don't really like holes in my mob trap. And you can also extend it out in the other direction by changing up the wiring around here. So the line of redstone comes along here, goes as far as you want. So you can use the repeaters. And you adjust the timing to each repeater here. So two ticks of delay. One plus one, two. And that goes into our pulse limiter thingy. You can see right there. And that goes into our row of pistons, so you could extend that out as far as you want. Um, but if you do do that, stacking this on top of each other is probably going to be... Yeah, it's probably not going to work out too well for you. But, I think if you see right here, I've extended this up a little bit more. You could probably have this wiring on this side as well, if you have this high enough. So if you leave a four or five block gap, you can probably still um, st stack this high enough, but extend it as long as you want. Uh, you might have Enderman spawning in it, though, if that's okay with you. And yeah, I think I've covered almost everything I need to say about this. Um, I've done some testing with it. We can have one last look at it at night time. We go up, sun's starting to set. Now, um, so there are possibly a few bugs. I haven't found any. S sometimes the mobs stand between two blocks and they can um, make the, the clock go on and off, on and off. But I have set it so that if you stand between two, the it moves at the same time because it's just run on one clock instead of individual clocks. So it works so well. Hopefully, um, if, if there are any problems, feel, feel free to tell me any modifications, especially on making it more compact. Feel free to post those um, because I didn't really put into account how compact this would be. Just want to show you guys this. So, sun setting. We should get some mobs spawning in soon. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that and possibly use these in your own worlds. They do use up a little bit more redstone than usual mob farms, but yeah, works out in the end. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Atrocity, and I'll see you guys next time.